So let's have an idea of something, we, uh, a sample problem that we could do with uh, Ethernet. So this example problem is again from Dr. Peter Willett, and it says that um, in, an, in, in an Ethernet system, user A collides with user B four times in a row. Then user A is successful on its fifth attempt, but user B collides with user C. What is the probability that C's message is transmitted successfully on its next transmission attempt? So basically, we want to know what the probability of success, probability of successful C, on this attempt. Well, basically, we, what a successful attempt will be is if user C and user B do not try to transmit at the same time. So user C has experienced one collision. So that means that the delay K that C is going to wait, so we'll call that K sub C, is distributed uniformly between 0 and 1. And the delay that B is going to have is going to be distributed uniformly between 0. And because this is the fifth time that B is trying to send something, it's the fifth time it's collided, it's going to wait 2 to the 5 minus 1. 2 to the 5 is 32. So it can be distributed uniform between 32, between 0 and 31, sorry. So the probability of, success, of a successful C transmission is the probability that KC does not equal KB. Well, the so there are only two possibilities for KC. So we can write this as the probability that KC equals 0 intersected with the probability that KB does not equal 0 plus the probability that KC equals 1 intersected with the probability that KB does not equal 1. Since there are only two, op since there are only two possibilities for KC and these events are mutually exclusive, this and exhaustive, this probability works. We can write the probability that they are not equal in this way. So we can calculate these probabilities. The intersection of these two events is nice because they are disjoint events and they are independent events. So that basically means if they are independent, we can write this as the probability that Kc equals 0 times the probability that KB equals zero, that KB does not equal zero, but we can write that specifically as one minus the probability that KB does equal zero. So we can write this as one minus the probability that KB equals zero. And then we want to add on the probability that Kc equals 1 times 1 minus the probability that Kb equals 1. Because the probability that Kb does not equal 1 is equal to 1 minus the probability that it does, because those are, again, mutually exclusive and exhaustive. So we can calculate all of these because we know the distributions on Kc and Kb. The probability that Kc is equal to 1, well, there are two options and it's uniformly distributed. So that, that probability is 1 half. The probability that Kb equals 0, well, it's uniformly distributed and there are 32 options. So 1 minus 1 over 32, or specifically 31 over 32. Now we move on over here and we get the addition of the probability that Kc equals 1. Well, again, it's a uniform distribution and there are two options, so the probability is 1 half. And again, this is uniformly distributed for the probability that Kb equals 1 and there are 32 options, so it's 1 over 32 and 1 minus 1 over 32 is again 31 over 32. 
So we have a half times a number plus a half times the same number. So that's just a full no that's just that number. So in end, we get that the probability is 31 over 32. And basically that's about 97%. So more than likely user C is going to be able to transmit. And assuming that no that nobody else will try to transmit again, user B will have a similar uh, will have a similar success rate. So that's an example of a problem that we can do. Um, we described the Ethernet protocol and then we said what were the what was the efficiency of it and what were some problems with it and then we looked at an example of um, of a of three users trying to use the same channel according to this Ethernet protocol and we saw that even that B can have some kind of priority problems where C even though it's the first time it's trying to transmit and it's crashed once and B has crashed five times uh, C is more than likely going to be able to transmit. I um, hope you guys learned something and have a nice day.